Caroline's currently dog sitting. This is Morpheus and this is Freya. This is Freya. Caroline's dog, dog friends. Hi guys and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we will do a video on why we chose the name Selkie. Selkie! Yeah, lots of you had questions about it when we did our Q&A and we had actually already prepped a little video because uh, we wanted to tell you why we've chosen a name that maybe not many people know or that isn't instantly sewing related. So the way you pronounce Selkie is exactly how I just said it. It's pronounced Selkie. Um, some people have thought it was called Silky. Yeah. And then some people have read it and thought, oh, Selfie. It's not, it's called Selkie. <laughs> yeah. And the reason we chose the word Selkie patterns together was because we are sending prints as well as fabric patterns. Uh, I mean, sewing patterns. So we wanted something that, you know, reflect what the, both of those things well. So like mm -hmm. patterns as in a print and sewing patterns. So Selkie patterns yeah. together. So when we were coming up the name for our brand, we didn't want a sewing pun. We love sewing names. I mean, I have a channel called So Happy, but we just felt like it wasn't right for us. So we wanted to do something a bit different that also reflected like what we basically, what we're about, what we, what our morals are and things like that. And for some unknown reason, I could not stop thinking about Selkies. Um, in the like the week or two after leading up af leading up to when I, I told you about the name mm -hmm. I just kept having like weird dreams about selkies I just kept thinking about selkies and I just wouldn't let it go so I rang Caroline like 10 times in a row and I was ringing and ringing and ringing and I was like pick up the phone pick up the phone and then you eventually picked up and I told you I think we should call our brand selkie I think we are selkie mm -hmm. and you were like oh, what's a selkie? <laughs> Yeah, so I had never heard about it when Alex told me, but I did instantly like the name as a word mm. uh, because I, I like the sound of it and also because the S and K letter combination is quite a Scandinavian quite sound. So actually all words in the English language that start with S, K are from Scandinavia. Oh. Um, yeah. Well, it's interesting because Selkie, the word is Gaelic. It's originally a Gaelic word. Yeah. It means um, sea folk or folk of sea. Mm. So yeah, yeah. maybe the, maybe like Gaelic and Viking. I don't know. Maybe the <laughs> maybe well, not there. You never know. Like all those sort of things. <laughs> so a selkie is a myth. It's a Scottish myth originally, and we recently found out how far that myth travels in terms of like parts of the world. So it's originally mm. it's from Scotland, mm. but this myth is also quite common within um, the Faroe Islands. The Faroe Islands. I think it goes all the way up to Iceland. Iceland and parts of Scandinavia. Yeah, mm. I think it. Yeah, I think it reaches Iceland, but it's so it's kind of that part of the, the little bubble of the the, of the, the, of the world of the, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the reason I came up with the name Selkie and why it appealed to me so much, and how you also fell in love with it, mm. is because um, I was taught about Selkies, or told about Selkies from a very early age. My family is originally from Scotland. All my grandparents are Scottish, apart from one. So I would grow up with these sort of fairy tales and fables and just be like completely, completely obsessed mm -hmm. with fairy tales. I just love them. And for some reason, Selkies always stuck in my head. Um, I just think they're such a cool myth. And for those of you who don't know the myth of the Selkie, the myth of the Selkie is, um, traditionally, they are m more solely told about women, but they can be men or women. Yeah. And Selkies are <laughs> seals. <laughs> They are seals. Basically, they're like mermaids, but they're not half fish, half woman, man. They are a seal, and then they can come ashore and they sh they get out of their skin. So it's referred yeah. to as a skin rather than like a fur or mm. a pelt. It's it's called a skin, so a silky skin. And traditionally, the fable would go that a man or a woman would see this this silky and mm. would be completely in love with this mysterious sea person. Enamored. enamored that's a good word. Enamored. <laughs> they would be completely enamored by these these people. And they would often, the partner would steal um, the selkie skin and hide it because when a selkie discovers her skin, finds her skin, she rediscovers who she is and she goes back to the ocean without fail, without question. She will yeah. reclaim who she is and leave. Um, so I don't know why, I just think this story, the story is just so cool because in traditional fairy tales, it's always the other way around. Like there's a woman in a tower and the man has to climb the hair and get her out. In this case, it's a, just a, a situation of rediscovering yourself. Mm. and rediscovering who you are and I just think that's such a beautiful thing and it really stuck with me as in remember who you are and remember where you came from mm. and I think yeah this is completely in line with what we're about as in being comfortable in your own skin claiming your own shape your own figure yeah. dressing it accordingly to like who you are and it just yeah. there was just so many layers to the story that I we identified with mm -hmm. and also which suited us as a company and 
I think names are really important and if it's something that you love and you've put so much work into we really wanted to choose something that was just us and yeah, yeah. That we wanted something different and yeah it also it really reflects both of us in terms of heritage yeah and who we are and what we believe in so yeah, yeah. and it's just such a gorgeous word and it's nice I love a fairy tale and also I've, not many people know about selfies also I'm actually not a huge fairy tale fan no <laughs> Not at all, actually. I'm a very tall person, yeah. But the yeah. thing that I liked about this myth is, I, I feel a lot of the a lot of times with mm. fairy tales, it's always it's always about there being a better situation. If I become a princess, my life will become perfect. It's never mm. your your own situation is never good enough. This is a generalization, but that's how I feel about a lot of fairy tales. So what I liked about this one was that the Selkie women they really do want to go home. They're not so in love with their new life that they forget their home. They are always, if given the chance, if they find, you know, Reclaim their skins, the skin. mm. they always go back home. And Off they go. And I really like <laughs> that. I really like that. To me, that, that indicates that what you have is good and what you have you can always make better. You don't have to go elsewhere. You don't have to, um, you know, take a different shape to improve your life and I know that's seeking a lot behind yeah. the story. So fairy tales are often there for you to like learn a lesson or for you to take something from mm -hmm. and the more I read back up on these fairy tales as a child like the, sel the, the myth of the selkie in terms of what we're doing now mm -hmm. it just spoke to me so much on, on a completely different level as an adult so for me I, I interpreted that as also body image like with, you, with, yeah. with your with your shape and with your figure and reclaiming mm. that for yourself and owning it and yeah yeah it was just really cool and it just all fell into place and yeah yeah it's it's nice and I and I like the fact that we have a name that is different and you know the other sewing or pattern or fabric companies probably wouldn't have anything similar to what we have mm. so it's nice we'd like to stand out from the crowd so we will always do the same <laughs> thing when it comes to our name you have to have something different i also i also like it because they it for me it indicates that when you find the shape that you feel most comfortable in you feel at home so yeah. for me like that myth and a tagline for me is find your skin find your way home and I just love yeah. that. I love how you came up with that. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> so that is the story of Selkie and yeah. why we chose the name Selkie. Of course, with any decision we make, it has to be purely emotional. <laughs> like every single stage of this company has completely been like built on a very emotional level. We've, we've Every decision we make as a business Mm. is on an emotional level. Also, if you can choose anything, you better choose something that you feel really, really good about. Also, I also read that the reason why women start businesses is for mainly for emotional reasons. As in, women will set out to create a product because they have been through something and they want to help others, or they've had this experience, they've learned from it, so they make a company, a product, a service. Mm. to teach or show or educate or sell to others so statistically women do start businesses not to, not for financial reasons on the outset mm. but actually for emotional reasons as in this is the company i wish i could have bought from or i could have contacted and i think that's really interesting mm. interesting because in the end i think that makes for a stronger company yeah. right yeah because you believe so much in your whatever vision it is what that yeah in whatever it is that you're yeah, selling definitely yeah. and that's yeah. just the way we approach most of our creative lives as well as with mm. a very emotional approach so thank you so much for watching and learning more about why we chose the name selkie and i hope you feel as passionate about it as we do as you all know we now have a mailing list so if you would like to join that you can find the link down below and this is the place to find out everything that we're being up to as in behind the scenes, creative decisions in the lead up to our Kickstarter campaign. So we would absolutely love it if you go sign up to the mailing list down below and also subscribe to our channel Selkie Patterns for more future videos. If you want to follow Caroline or me on Instagram, our accounts are also below as well as our Selkie Patterns Instagram account. Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye! Bye. You like the name Selkie?